I need a thermistor. And I actually found one, but there is no marking on it. So, is this trash? Of course not, we just need to do some measurements. So let me show you how you can actually do this. This sensor here has two wires. So this is already a good sign. My guess is that it's an NTC. NTCs are temperature dependent resistors. It actually looks like this. If we take a look at the resistance at different temperatures, an NTC looks like this. It's not linear, higher the temperature, the lower the resistance. We have the sensor here. And right now I see 9.91 kilo ohms. And if I touch it, then it actually goes down. So as the temperature increases, the resistance decreases. If you buy an NTC, what you really care about is two things. The first thing is the resistance at a certain temperature. So usually it's something like 10 kilo ohms at 25 degrees Celsius. This only tells you that at exactly 25 degrees, it has exactly 10 kilo ohms. And you're also interested in beta. Beta defines how the resistance changes with temperature. A thermistor is described by this equation. And so we usually know its current resistance because we can measure it. We know that it has 10 K at 20, five degrees we are interested in the temperature here and we also need to know the beta so in order to find out this beta value the simplest solution is to make two measurements one cold and one hot measurement in principle you could use any temperature but i would advise that you use zero degrees and 100 degrees 100 degrees can be achieved by cooking water and zero degrees can be achieved by putting ice cubes into water. So let's start with cooking water. To double check the temperatures, I use my TC08. And in fact, I can confirm that cooking water has 100 degrees. At 100 degrees, the resistance drops to about 0.674 kilo ohms let's repeat the measurement with ice water so first i can confirm that ice water is around zero degrees celsius and the resistance of the ntc increases to about 31.65 kilo ohms so with these two values in mind let's calculate beta now i am interested in this variable right here Let's insert the values. First, let's start with 100 degrees here. So at 100 degrees, I measured 0 0.674 kilo ohms. And at zero degrees, I measured 31.65 kilo ohms. Right here, you can see that we can't use Celsius values because we can't divide by zero. So in this case, you have to use Kelvin. Zero degrees Celsius is equal to 273.15 Kelvin. And so the complete equation looks like this. We divide by zero degrees. And 100 degrees. So 100 degrees is 373. 0.15 Kelvin. Let's put this into my calculator. And so our beta equals 3923.4. You don't have to do this math. There is a lot of calculators online, so you can just use one of them, I can link them in the description and you just go there, input the resistance one, which is 0 0.674, resistance two, 31.65, temperature one in Celsius is 100 and two is zero. 
and the result is the same. Very good. And now that we have our beta value, we can use it. How can we do this with our Arduino? Well, check out this video here. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe to this channel and also make use of this new hype function. If you would like to support this channel directly, I activated memberships. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.